Hey, everybody. I'm Jelani. Hey, it's me, Brooks. I'm here, too. Oh, cool. All right. And together, we're here at Go Figure Reviews. We have done the fusion dance. Yep. We're, we're wearing the patara. Yep. We're wearing the patara earring. Yep. That's how we do it. And uh, today, we are talking about another Marvel Select. And this Marvel Select is the Apocalypse. Oh, yeah, I'm Apocalypse. Oh, yeah. And this is a pretty sweet figure, man. I'm glad yeah, we got ever, this. You can't go wrong. Yeah. You can't. I mean, make me a big, hulking, menacing. Well, I mean, I guess Fat Apocalypse is kind of... But, I mean, he's still kind of cool. Too. Yeah, he's kind of cool. He's like a basketball player. Yeah, like, yeah he's kind of slimmed down. Yeah, it looks pretty good in the packaging. Um, Nice little artwork there on the front. With his face and such, Marvel Select. He's like, he's just looking at the camera like, hey, like, is this is his driver's license photo? Yeah, <laughs> he's like, ah. Oh. He's uh, really Mr. being Mr. Inner and Sabiner? Yeah. Mr. Sabiner, Mr. Sabiner uh, you're next. Turn, <laughs> turn, Don't turn. smile, please, sir. Yeah. Take the glasses off. I never also. smile. <laughs> he's really angry. I am physically incapable of such. <laughs> but yeah, looks really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, little artwork. Of him, or actually, it the photo of him. Mad. Yeah, a little bit. Like, so like farted. <laughs> He's super mad about it. Horse man. Yeah. Our Kangol's just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, yep, more artwork of him on the back. Oh, yeah. And, uh, of course, they're words. So, you know, when they're words, stuff got to happen. Born in the small Egyptian settlement of Akara almost 5,000 years ago, the being originally dubbed in Sabanur was the world's first known mutant. Nur struggled through countless ordeals, all the while formulating an ideology akin to survival of the fittest. Using advanced alien celestial technology, as well as his own almighty mutant powers, Nur became the mighty conqueror, Apocalypse, influencing history throughout the ex throughout the ages and remaining in the modern era to wreak havoc alongside his chosen harbingers, the horsemen. Oh so yeah. Got it. I think they knocked this one out of the park so far, and that's just the, the stuff on the back and the stuff we've seen already. And of course, you got that, that mm, lovely, yes. lovely sweet barcode, man. So yeah, if you want to find it in your local comic book shop? That's what you're looking for. Look, but, look, yeah. but don't touch. Yeah. Guys. So not much on the, on the top. And oh. Not much on the bottom. Them feet. Not too much on the side. So yeah. We're going to just crack this bad boy open and see what he looks like. Here we have the accessory pack. Not bad, to yeah. be honest. I'm, su I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. We got the mace hand. Classic. He loves his spiky ball hand. And uh, you got the claw, of course. Another classic for mm -hmm. grabbing things. And like a little puncture thing for stabbing them. Do get them. These are nicely detailed too. Yeah, I like the detail on these. Yeah, yeah, they look like pretty the good. The silver, dude, I love this version of Apocalypse. Yeah, this is like the version. It's Apocalypse. Got fisty yeah. hand. One. There's tether. His hands for fists. For Look punching. Like but oh, there's the money maker. Real hand. Oh yeah. Does it spin though? It does not. No. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's Marvel but, Select. I mean. They're not gonna spin. Yeah. They're statue esque. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if it did, it would kind of. It would probably fuck it up for me. It's still pretty nice. Yeah, I like, like it. Yeah, Apocalypse is known for like you know, making drill hands. Just okay, and uh, I mean, this is the figure itself, and he looks awesome out of the bag. He's fucking savage. Oh, yeah, man, I really, really enjoy oh, this man, figure. Those colors, dude. Oh, he is. <laughs> uh oh, you're losing it back there. Oh, no. Do you need a towel or something? I'll make it. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, looks looks great, man. I mean, yeah. he's got good detail. He, he's a little skinny for me. Like, oh, I, don't I think know. it's better because that's that's kind of like classic apocalypse. Like yeah. Simonson apocalypse. Yeah. Whatever. But kind of updated. Get this, this X Factor yeah. apocalypse going. Apocalypse yeah. classic. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he looks good. I like these little, oh, those, those fuck, yeah, little the tubes. Are tubes. Badass. Yeah. Great I like the detail of all this as well. I mean, he's they did a pretty good job yeah. on this little bad boy. And, you know, as far as the articulation face, goes, you know, face look like? he, he looks good. I like that head. Yeah. He's yeah. Good. He's kind of like a contemptible sneer on his face. Yeah. Right? He's, <laughs> none no me. Yeah. 
But yeah, he, he doesn't look up. That's as much as he looks up. He doesn't he need looks to. Down. There's he nothing doesn't. above apocalypse. That's ever. right. He looks. He looks below. He looks at you. It looks really good. Um, he's got, you know, other than the the little piping and whatnot that's on here, the, these tubes, they do come out rather easily. So, as far as articulation goes, I mean, you wouldn't really want to put him in a whole bunch of poses with the tubes in, but he's got yeah. a little hole there. I mean, it's got fairly decent bicep swivel. He's kind of stiff. His arms go up about that far. Yeah. He's got single jointed elbow, which is kind of weak considering. Yeah. But yeah. it's well, I mean, for a figure his size, yeah, yeah not surprising. Yeah, wrist swivel's pretty decent. Comes back down. He's got like a thigh cut. That's yeah. pretty good. Pretty um, yeah, I forgot about the torso yeah, part. Crunch, it yeah, doesn't. It, does. it doesn't do a little too bit. much. Yeah, not much. He turns though. And then there's also the additional yeah. waist swivel there. It looks good. Pretty standard feature. Yeah. Too. Kicks out pretty good. Like I said, thigh cut. Goes down to single joint uh, mm. knees. Which, eh, it's okay. Mm. But you're not going to get double joint from this. Um, no boot cut swivel, but he does have a good ankle swivel there. And, well, it's kind of stiff, but he... It has no ankle mm. pivot, but his his toes go up and down, so you can still get him in decent poses. So I don't know. I mean, he's a good looking figure, and you're not gonna make him do too much anyway because it's a it's a Marvel yeah. Select, so it's kind of like in that statue kind of pose you're gonna get anyway. So you get him in one pose, and that's it. You're not doing too much with him. So and the thing about him, and him is gonna be like the hand combinations. Yeah. I think. All the stuff that goes with it. And of course, you yeah. can take the hands out fairly easy. And, uh, it's like man, an action feature in a way. I'm going to go, I want to put the spike on there. Oh, yeah. Classic. For now. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Kind of awesome. But, I you know, spike that's the ball for your face, <laughs> you dent. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, this is a problem, though, for me, because, like, it's too stiff. This should have yeah. been bendy wire or something. Yeah, that would be a bit ideal. I mean, but you're not going to get bendy wire from Marvel Select, so I'm not really complaining. It's just, you can stick it in yeah, there, but it's eventually it's going right. to come out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're going to get him in some poses. Yeah, like once you got him pose, it'll stay. It's yeah, nice. I'm going to take one out and see if I can put in the drill, too. But the drill goes in pretty well. You just pop it in like that. Yeah. And now you got Spike Mason drill. He I is get like you with my mace, then I get you with my drill. <laughs> it's pretty clean. I like him, and yeah. so he looks like he would fit well with Legends too. That's the good thing about like Apocalypse. He grows like part, of, yeah, part of his power is like he could be any size you really need him to be, as long as he's pretty much bigger than everybody else. Yeah, looks pretty good. So here we have our new guy with. The classic Toy Biz Apocalypse and the first Legends Apocalypse, as we call him affectionately, of course, Fat Apocalypse. Fat Apocalypse! I am the Fat Apocalypse! <laughs> Gosh. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, um, the original Toy Biz Apocalypse one, like, I love this figure just because, like, you know, it, does, it is not the apocalypse we know that I grew up with. It's the apocalypse. It's like Origins Apocalypse, like Apocalypse as he first appeared, yeah. like the Walt Simonson style apocalypse, where he's just huge, tall, lank, but kind of lanky dude. He got stretchy powers, so he can uh, he can extend his legs. <laughs> oh, a little too far. No, he's ruined. Throw him in the trash and his torso. Well, trust me, you can do it. Yeah, <laughs> I want to the trees. <laughs> like here you go. I am more ancient than time itself. <laughs> but yeah, like you know, getting in the stand, like, you can't yeah, do it. You forget can't that. Do it. Yeah, Fat Apocalypse stands a little better, but he doesn't have the stretching powers. I think yeah. out of the three of them, it's safe to say that this new one is probably the best. Yeah, a little bit. In here, this apocalypse is with like 
all the big boy apocalypse from um, Marvel Legends. Um, here we have the Age of Apocalypse. Apocalypse, the happiest he's ever been. And, I love uh, this cape. Yeah. Is, I'm winning. He is kind of winning. I'm winning. <laughs> and we got the uh, Marvel Legends. I think he's a build. Yeah, this is a build a figure apocalypse. He's a build a figure. Yeah, he's a build a figure. He even comes. Uh, I have the claw on him from the Archangel the Deluxe figure. Yeah. I added that to him. I That's really like that. Figure. And it moves. Unlike the this one, this that the, his claw actually opens yeah. and closes. Yeah. It, I think, it, yeah, it doesn't move. This one does yeah. not move. Which, I mean... It's fine. I mean, he's yeah. got a little spike. He's going to spike you. He stabs you while he's for doing stabbing it. stabbing and spiking. That's right. And then over here, we've got the retro card, which we have reviewed. Yeah, um, please cool. check that out. That's going to be, you know, a pretty cool video that you'd want to see. And, uh, of course, I got my, my Joe Fix-It uh, apocalypse over here. This is the Joe Fix It Build a Figure Wave. The hands don't quite um, match with the no, face. It's, it's not the, the right color, color, but I needed a House of X apocalypse in dark Nesta. gray fist form. Yeah, he, it would be pretty cool if we had that. But you know, I, I like all of these figures together. They you all know, have like, a good it, height it, deal. You could actually uh, use the select one with these as like a kind of a him like a mid. Transformation between like regular size and, and giant, yeah, and yeah, like build a figure size, yeah. He looks pretty good though with these, like, it looks pretty well. Like, he, yeah, he's in the middle of transforming. And plus, of the group, he is the most apocalypse, apocalypse, yeah, uh, he's the right color and everything. So, yeah, I kind of he's agree. Got pretty eyes, he is, he's pretty, They're filled with rage <laughs> and hatred for mankind. <laughs> and here we have him with. My personal favorite, the original Build a Figure Apocalypse. We have both mine and Jelani's here. Yeah. Mine's on the, the left. He's, he has the arm pipe still. Mine does not, but it's still quite cool. Um, and he looks pretty good in comparison, I think. Yeah, he I does. He, he's the most apocalypse of the apocalypse. This is. And if he grew, he would grow into the one into the build of figures. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I feel like he could use him like as like a effect, like a mid transformation effect. He's like, "Look at me get bigger, and now I'll get even bigger." <laughs> what you gonna do, motherfucker? All we need is like a, a freaking Marvel Haslab freaking yeah, apocalypse like that would be nice. Yes. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Him fighting Galactus would be pretty cool, too. I would throw myself off a bridge, Hasbro. <laughs> do it. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. But I, I would probably waste a lot of money on buying that. Yes. All right. And here he is with some of his four horsemen and hounds of the apocalypse. Um, we got the Build-A-Figure Caliban over here. Yeah, he looks nice. Like, yeah. This, this is Caliban like... Uh, Originally, Caliban was like the skinny little loser Morlock, whose only power was he could track other mutants, which made him like, he was one of the most least threatening, but at the same time, the most potentially dangerous mutants alive. Because like, if he was like captured by humans and enslaved, they could like basically find any mutant they wanted to. With yeah. Him. But he was always so weak and like, Apocalypse was like, I'll make you big and strong if you just do what I say. He's like, okay, oh, I'll do it. That's and the cool. executioner song, he like kidnaps uh, Scott and Jean and turns them over to Strife because he's a stupid idiot who doesn't realize Apocalypse is dead. <laughs> it and it was, and it was Strife pulling the strings the whole time. Evil Strife. Yeah, man. But seriously, read the executioner songs. Yeah, story. great story. Of course, we got the Marvel Legends. Game beats. Game beats. Oh, dude, he was, oh. his character was his, his character was fucked by that the storyline in which he was transformed into. Apocalypse is horseman death because it's how stupid the fucking reasoning was behind him doing it. Like he just did it because like he was sad that Rogue broke up with him or some shit. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, That's it was weak. dumb. I hated it. And he had had some good moments though. It has it had like a few funny moments, but it did not do well for the character again. I think he's bounced back though. You know, yeah. he's still Gambit. He's Gambit. People he's just, love he's Gambit. He's so charming. Yeah, like, yeah. He used to be my he, originally. He was my favorite X Men just because of the animated series. And how cool he was, but you know, over the years, like I've kind of uh, not appreciated Gambit as much. Mm. Maybe I've been surrounded by haters as well, haters of Gambit. Well, I mean, I am one of them. 
So, yeah, true. Yeah, it happened. And there's another. Yeah, but uh, I th- I think uh, his character has gotten a little better. They don't. I don't think they u- they've ever really utilized him in the way. He I think he should be a member of X Force personally. Yeah, but I think he's he would do be perfect better on X Force because yeah, because he's, he's, he's like, like a, a stealth guy. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's like be like a great scout. Yeah, he's pretty good. And then we got Pestilence over here. We got yeah. the Lorna Dane, who um, is Polaris. This is what the Magneto's daughter, or not yeah, his daughter. She is Magneto's daughter, and she became Pestilence for some weird reason. I can't remember. She like she had something wrong with her powers. She lost her powers. There was some drama with Alex and Bobby. Bobby was trying to get with her again, and he was fighting Alex about it. And it was not. It was. It wasn't a great era of X Men. In which uh, that happened, but it had some, you know, like I said, it had its moments. Yeah. And of course, finally, we get to the other death, the yeah. main death. Numero uno. The first Archangel. death. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Archangel himself, Warren Worthington. And, and they look pretty good together as well. Like, it it just looks like it fits with what's going on. It, it, that's, yeah. that's basically. Except for Gammon, he's like, why am I here again? I don't know why. It's redundancy. You know, <laughs> but hey, gotta gotta put at least some four horsemen in here. There are there are plenty more. Oh yeah, but like he's like yeah. he's used all kinds of guys as horsemen. Yeah, but I just want to give you really strong. Work for me. Yeah, and it's, that's all it is. It's good good height comparisons though. He, yeah. he, I think he, he towers on yeah, He fits. He but fits with he Mark should, Mark he should tower over. Yeah, he is the apocalypse. That is correct. All right, and here he is with another size comparison. This is the Marvel Select Colossus and Marvel Select Juggernaut. Mm. And uh, I think they go well together as well. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I love the height comparison. This is basically my my Colossus anyway yeah, and my x So, I mean, he's he's got the height and everything with it, but he, he looks as imposing as... That apocalypse figure. Yeah, apocalypse still is down on his puny, pathetic ass. That he does. That he does. And like that juggernaut is is freaking mm. huge too. I mean, I really like that still. That is still a good looking figure. Um, I think you do an onslaught. Yeah. All we need is that. Onslaught would be perfect for this yeah. for Marvel Select. I'm pretty sure it's coming. I'm pretty sure they got one coming. Yeah, I mentioned. Here it is, the coolest thing we will ever do. Or have ever done <laughs> in our pathetic lives. That's right. The perfect transformation from original to the new, the best. Well, and then the build a figure, which is actually the best. Yeah, yeah. But I still like the Marvel Select figure. It's still yeah. like a good. Yeah, like I, I kind of want it stuff. now, even though like I don't collect selects. Yeah. It would fit with the legends, but then like, man, I have so many apocalypse books. But it's apocalypse. It's apocalypse. It's apocalypse. You must have it. Oh, yeah. And um, of course, we reviewed the one before, like we said, uh, the retro card version. So please check that out again. And uh, of course, you know, we give figure points out here. And uh, we do. Yeah, we we do. Yeah, we do. So, so Brooks, like, what do you think about this Marvel Select uh, apocalypse figure? I give this one a five. I love, I love apocalypse. I love this figure. Like, I love the colors. It's like, you know, 90s era apocalypse back when he was at his peak. Oh, yeah. He was like, he was the shit. Like, oh, he, had yeah. an old age, he had a whole age named after him. Like, if one guy died, he would have taken over the world. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all it would have taken. So, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, I, I do like this figure. And I, 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 the, the amount of accessories, I think, that come with it is pretty nice. Like, the different hands. You know, got claw hand, drill hand. The drill hands. The drill hands are the best. And spike ball hands. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have a gun hand, oddly enough. Or like a blaster, I guess, hand. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you could fit one of those blasters yeah, on Yeah, you might be too. able to fit the one from yeah. the Legend on it. You could fudge it a little. But yeah. Yeah, all in all, yeah, I, I like these figures too, man. I, yeah, I how many figure, yeah. point, figure points would you give this figure? Yeah, I'm going to also give it a five. I, 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 like, I like doing the full, the full hand. On this figure, I mean, it looks great. It, it's the it's the most apocalypse apocalypse next to the the build a figure apocalypse. This apocalypse is post apocalypse. Yeah, he's he's pretty awesome. I mean, I, I, if you can find him, I suggest you get him. Oh yeah, if you see an apocalypse awesome. figure, get it. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is the jam, son. So yeah, and of course, this is our review for that Marvel Select uh, apocalypse figure. Thank you so much for watching our videos. 
Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment. It helps in the algorithm. We really appreciate you guys for watching anyway. Um, we're going to have like a live stream coming up um, next week or so. So uh, it'll be just a show and tell. We got some great guests on. Hopefully they're going to show us some really cool stuff this this time. Um, any final thoughts, Brooks? You got? I uh, just uh, I've seen more of this world than you could possibly dream. Which is why I must destroy it. Sounds fair. Well, also okay. like get out there and get out there and go, go figure. figure.